in the world? I don't know what happened there. The screen just flipped around. But, um, I'm going to do a reaction to this song. I've only ever heard one other song by him, which is pretty funny and pretty outrageous. I believe this one will be too. Um, the only other song I heard by him was Mississippi Squirrel Revival. Uh, and it talks about how a church started... Uh, making everybody, um, how everybody in the church started jumping around and hollering and praising more just because a squirrel came into the church. And it, it was crazy. Um, and I even got the, the pastor be confessing a lot of the stuff he's done. And <laughs> it was a crazy song. Um, but um, this one's called Red Hot Chili Cook-Off. Um, so hopefully it's just as crazy as Mississippi Squirrel Bible. I write to you for the last time from my deathbed, poor oh dear mother. My health is gone. I'm fading fast and I fear I'll not recover. I've lost a hundred pounds, my hair, my sight, and this illness had its nexus. The day I judged the red hot chili cook off in Jalapeno, Texas. Well, as you know, in Tennessee, you fed us normal things. Yeah, like Tabasco seasoned barbecue and spicy chicken wings. But I've got a friend down here in Texas who's a chili cook off judge. And on the day of the statewide cook off, he lay sick and could not budge. I'm sicker than a dog, he said. You'll have to take my place. Now, all you do is pick the chili you like after giving them all the taste. So, of course, I did what I had to do to help out my old friend. But that decision ruined my life and brought me to this sorry end. Do not eat Texas chili, mama, or you will surely die. We'll show you To the top. Thing. <coughs> Do not eat 
Texas chili, it'll put you in the ground. And even if you should survive, you won't be able to sit down. Do not eat Texas chili, mama. No, you will surely die. Don't even mention Texas chili. to the song next. I think I could react to it too um, before I end this video. I don't think I got that my storage space ran out yet. But um <coughs> yeah that was a pretty alright song. Not as good as um <coughs> as Mississippi Squirrel Revival. But it was pretty good. Um, definitely funny. Um, not as funny, but definitely funny. But, um, let me just give these chickens their water, go fill up their food. I'll push play on this video and react to it too. Let me know what y'all think of that video. Back. Don't come out. I gotta stay in y'all's pen till we get a gate around it. Don't want y'all running off into the road. They are getting so big and so beautiful. I'm gonna go get y'all some food. I got a letter from the IRS inviting me to be their guest at an audit. They were conducting just for me. They say no need to worry, probably nothing wrong. Just bring your wife and children along. We just need to clear up a small technicality. My brother knows that food. Thank you. 
Also a pretty good song. Um I mean sorry I ain't getting as much into it as I normally get into these videos, especially these reaction videos. Uh, I normally get very into because I really just love the music. And but I I did enjoy these videos. They <laughs> special I have to say that um, it's still not better than Mississippi School Revival, but um, out of the two songs I just listened to, um, the Juanita IRS blow up song thing <laughs> was definitely the best. Um, and you know, there are actually people out there like that. Of course, they don't try to take the pendants on blow up dolls. But they actually do marry blow-up dolls. Like, they they get a blow-up doll, and they take it out on dates, and <laughs> there are actually people like that. Uh, and they actually gently care about their dolls, <laughs> and it's weird. <laughs> 